Bain. Myself and my partner Sandra bought the Kelly's building here uh, about five years ago, along with uh, the building site adjacent. And the, the plan was to read about the site initially and then the Kelly's building afterwards. But after dealing with the THI, we turned that on its head and, and decided the best thing to do was renovate the Kelly's building before we tackle the site next door. The building had, um, over a period of time, gradually deteriorated and it was uh, pretty much derelict when we, we bought it and then subsequently there was a fire in it two years ago which destroyed quite a bit of the staircase and some of the internal woodwork that was left. I originally had lived in Carrick for about 10 years um, before moving up to Belfast but I always thought that the, the area at the front and then around the castle was really prime re real estate and uh, this building in particular which had a wrap around it um, was a bit of a blight on the whole uh, streetscape so we had previously worked on a, a old buildings and brought them back to life and to me that's a bit like um, painting a picture at the end of it. You, you start off with something that isn't very nice and it's a bit of a blank canvas and you end up with something you can be proud of at the end of it and hopefully we've done that with the Kelly's building. I think if anybody else was, were, was looking at doing this sort of scheme, um, certainly working with the THI and the council uh, over the period of time was a positive experience from my point of view. The team that we worked with, a you know, very, very good relationship with the contractors, the architects, with the THI and with the council and I'm, I'm happy to say it was a very positive experience for us. From talking to some owners who have looked at doing work to um, older buildings in and around the, the area that's eligible for the grant, um, their concerns are that it's time consuming, there's a lot of professional fees involved and so on. And I would say don't you know don't overthink it, at least it doesn't cost anything to express an interest and sit down with the team and see how they can help you and how they can move this forward. Um, Certainly, as I say, from our point of view, there was some additional expense, but then you are getting uh, a, a good level of grant, um, which covers much of that expense as well. So I, I don't see it as a negative. I think it's a positive thing overall. I'm hoping that uh, we say we were one of the first to take the plunge that there are other property owners in the area now who will work with the THI, invest in the town um, and really bring the town back to life again. Uh, let's get more residential space, um, new commercial people into the town and let's see the town grow again and ultimately from my point of view that will be a good thing from a long term investment. But it is, I think we have huge assets here in the time and it's just how we get the most out of those going forward. Uh, feel free to come and look at this building or some of the other buildings that the work has already been done on um, and talk to the owners, see what their experience was and then make your decision based on that.